is the colorful strip in Las Vegas, a gambling and entertainment mecca in the desert. The action is right here, all kinds of it. The city without clocks. And this is the showboat, hotel, and casino and lanes, great entertainment complex. And as we said, bowling lanes, a total of 70 with 36 more to be added. The Professional Bowlers Tour stopped here for 19 tournaments in as many years. The prize money here is huge for the Showboat Invitational, $125,000 on our third stop. 16 cities for the total prize money is $1.6 million. We talk about money here because that's what it's all about. And you know, with a big crowd like this, they have taken time out from Kino, from Roulette, and all those games of chance to come in here and watch five of the greatest bowlers who will be bowling for over $50,000 with $21,000 going to the winner. I'm proud to be working with a winner. His name is Nelson Burton, Jr., and he finished 12th this week and made a ton of money. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for the plug. You know, Chris, today we have four non-champions going against the very tough veteran Johnny Petragli. But the big story, I think, is in the lanes. For the first time in PBA history, we're bowling on a synthetic surface, a non-wood bowling lanes. And the results have been amazing. There's been a 12 three hundredths bowled, one on the TV pair, and we may get one today. You really predicting one? Well, I can't predict it. I say somebody will give it a run. You know, we've never been able uh, together to give a $10,000 check from ABC or the Ford Futura. And I can't think of a better city where the sun is shining, incidentally, and it's 60 degrees for you snowbound folks, than to do it right here, Bo. Well, they have a chance, Chris. Okay, let's meet those five tournament leaders who will be bowling for that first prize of $21,000. In the number five position from River Grove, Illinois, a great guy, he's a bowling proprietor, and his name is Frank Husband. He will meet the tournament sports rank bowler from Downing, California. He's only 21 years old, and his name is Warren Nelson. The winner of this first game will challenge the number three bowler from Houston, Texas, a much improved stroker. 24 years old, his name is Pete McCordick. The winner of this match will challenge the number two man in the tournament from Campbell, California. 36 years old, finished fifth there last year, Bill Coleman. And the winner of that semifinal game will bowl for the championship against the tournament leader who is from Staten Island, New York, and very happy, especially today, to be in Las Vegas where there is no snow. He's 30 years old. He has 10 PBA titles, including the Firestone Tournament of Champions, Johnny Petraglia. John, it's, I know, an unparalleled thrill for you to be the tournament leader. Oh, yes, it is, Chris. It's uh, 21000 for first, and uh, if you get that in blackjack, you win, so it's a nice number. <laughs> You're inferring if you win 21000 you will go out through that door over there and leave a little of it here for Joe Kelly? Uh, maybe just a little, but I think 99.9% .9 of it will go home. <laughs> okay. Okay, a strike in the eighth. So a difference of... 27 years in age. Nelson, 21. This young man has impressed me all week. He throws the strong ball, which made the young players roll today. And he has been very good under the pressure. A bit of a satirical look from Warren Nelson. He knew that he made a slight mistake on that shot. And as we said, when you have good scoring lane conditions, a pro has a board to play with. In this case, uh, a dart out there on the lane. And uh, he pulled in a little bit and still got a strike. When the pros can do that and get the great pin action, there's always big scores. In addition to karate, Warren has been involved with uh, pocket billiards. His high run, 74. Wow. Seventy-six through the seventh. Mm. Chris, and for Frank Hussman to have any chance to win this match, he must strike out ninth, tenth, and eleventh, twelfth frames, and hope that Warren Nelson does not mark. Warren Nelson's going at a two forty pace. Frank Hussman can strike out for two thirty. Oh, 
What a competitor. He's still in it. Well, Bo, just to uh, get to the finals, the top five out of that sizable field of 348. Folks back in River Grove, Illinois, have to be proud of their bowling proprietor. Well, he averaged 230 all week for 56 games, Chris. This is our long format, and he was very tough under the pressure. When he had, a, he had a chance to win, he performed. That's where he is right now. He needs this strike. And gets it on the left lane. He can still win the match if he strikes on this ball and Warren Nelson opens in the 10th. Okay. Just must have this strike, though. So well, he's done his job. Chris, he's throwing 10 straight balls in the pocket. He left the 6-10 in the first frame and been right in the pocket all the way. 236, the best he can get. It may not be good enough, but at least he's got a chance. Consistency. Five in the row to finish the game here in the first match, giving him a 236. And now it's up to Warren Nelson to remain perfect. He just needs a spare. A spare will win the match. strike and becomes the winner. Look at that concentration. Oh, sliding by. A little discouraging, but he just let that ball slip out of his hand a little bit, Chris, and the reaction of the synthetic surface that they're bowling on is when you hit a little oil, it slides a lot more than oil on the wood lane. So a slight mistake with speed or trajectory ends up in a, a very errant shot, whereas on Wood, he may have got back and got a 2-4-5 out of that. But now he's got the difficult 1-2-10. Nelson after 254 in his victory over Frank Huspin in the first game. Pete McCordick needs a strike on this ball and a six spare count or better in the frame to win the match by one pin. Oh, a shaky seven goes down. Hey, Chris, that was almost thrilling. That pin, there is always a four-second delay from the time the ball hits the head pin till the time the rack comes down and touches the pin. The four seconds seems like an eternity to that young man on that shot. Right now, all he needs is six and a spare. Look at this reaction. He knows the situation. Six spare, he wins his first match. Strung together five in a row. This is 36-year-old Bill Coleman of Campbell, California. Oh, it opens perfect. It's today Bill Coleman won the Showboat Invitational in the final stop before traveling to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Johnny Petraglia of Staten Island, New York, had been the leader before today's final round in the head-to-head -head competition, but Petraglia had problems, particularly in the left lane. Petraglia did not register his first strike until the fifth frame and shot only a 191 after averaging 231 for the entire week. The winner, Bill Coleman of Campbell, California, had never won on the PBA Tour before. Today, Coleman put together a cool 237 in the final match to win the $21,000 first prize. Coleman finished strong with eight strikes, including four straight for a strong finish. Again, as we said, the, the PBA Tour comes to the Forum Bowling Ladies in Grand Prairie this week.